Hi, this is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific. We're here at CES 2019. We are in the Volta booth, and you have a bunch of products here. These are pretty interesting. Tell me, what are we looking at right here? Right here is a pet ball with a face recognition. A face recognition of the cat, face recognition of the uh, dog. So the idea is that uh, prevent food thieves from stealing your pet uh, food and uh, only one authorized pet can access to the food inside. Okay, so first I gotta ask, how long did it take you to develop this? We took about uh, seven months uh, and uh, uh, a lot of research, a lot of uh, uh, training tests with the different type of animals and uh, now we are ready to go into production and uh, this product will be soon ready. So what inspired this? What made you say we need facial recognition for pet food? Face recognition is a, a technology that is available. We uh, customize these for uh, pet and uh, uh, we think that almost every product could be uh, enhanced and uh, um, increased with artificial intelligence. So the idea was take the most simple, the most humble product of uh, our homes that is a pet ball, uh, very simple in a corner with a and uh, let's load it uh, with artificial intelligence. This is uh, the core idea. If we can do this with a pet ball, we can do this with every uh, home appliance and every industrial process. So they say that you know invention and innovation is all about solving problems. People see a problem and then they figure out what's the solution. That's where inventions come from. Yes. Did you see a problem that required, you know, cat? Was, was there an issue of like lots of cats stealing other cats' food or? kids stealing other cats food i mean i just noticed there's a lid on top of it there's the facial recognition it's like a bank vault to get to the cat food uh the product uh was born as an exercise <laughs> but uh, now we discovered that uh, there are much many more people than we expected that uh, has these kind of problems we receive a lot of emails every day uh, complaining about uh, the neighbor a cat that arrives and steals the food or complaining about uh, some uh, different diets from one cat and another cat or the dog that is more hungry and more aggressive and finish everything immediately and instead the cat uh, that is more slow and uh, try to uh, eat maybe some something uh, now something uh, l uh, later and uh, so there are a lot of problems but uh, the, this is not uh, born as a solution of a problem. Now we discovered that uh, uh, the market is much bigger than we expected. So talk me through the design and development process of something like this. We start uh, with a uh, brainstorming, as I told, and we uh, figure out that this could be um, the solution to a problem. Uh, then we started to do a, a concept. The concept uh, in the very beginning was just uh, a, a traditional pet ball with a camera mounted on top and uh, we started to figure out uh, how it can work. Then we start uh, meshing together several uh, components and start thinking about the design and then arrive to a, a sketch. At that point, we worked very hardly on the artificial intelligence component um, with uh, deep neural networks, embeddings, this, this kind of stuff. And then uh, we finally uh, asked the two Italian designers to complete with a, a very nice looking and ergonomic uh, shape. This is, the, this is the final result of all this process. Now your background is in artificial intelligence and facial recognition. And how long have you been working on that type of so that those types of programs, software, hardware? It's uh, almost four years that we are working in a, in a growing Italian company, almost bootstrapped, and uh, we are uh, growing uh, year after year with uh, customers in every field, in uh, every time of type of industry. And um, the idea is that uh, there are almost no uh, home appliances that could benefit from this kind of technology. AI will be the new electricity, this is true, and this is why we call ourselves Volta. Do you have to study other pet bowls to develop that sort of perfect pet bowl that's going to work and integrate itself with the artificial intelligence, it's going to be appealing to animals? I mean, how, uh, how deep does your research on that side have to go? No, we didn't uh, a complete uh, research. We are still in the phase to do some tests, but uh, we complete everything by the end of February, and then we start the production. Have you tried it out with your cat yet? Yes, obviously. Does your cat like it? Obviously, loves it. Okay, um, so show me how this works. It only works with one cat per bowl, is that correct? 
No, it's not correct. Uh, I can authorize multiple cats per ball. In this example, we have only one cat per ball because of uh, the CS constraints. And so we have to uh, create a little uh, show here. So show me how that works. Show me how uh, you know only the correct cat can access the correct ball. This is, uh, for example, Benzo the cat, a very popular Instagram cat. Now, let's suppose that Benzo is approaching and you see that the pet ball is open. Now, can eat and it goes away and the pet ball closes. We go on another ball, like here, nothing happens. So even though Benzo is a famous internet cat, this will not open for Benzo? No, absolutely not, because it's designed to open for this other cat here, that when arrives, opens only to this one. So what's the technology looking for to identify one cat versus another? How can it tell the difference? There is a sort of uh, deep learning architecture that uh, performs an embedding of the features of the cat and then compares with uh, other cat faces and uh, stored in the memory of the pet bowl. This is the main idea. What I find so fascinating and interesting about that is a lot of cats have similar facial features, marking stripes, things like this, and it, this can tell the difference, this can identify one gray cat with a bunch of stripes from another gray cat with a bunch of stripes? Absolutely, yes, until a certain level. Uh, obviously, for example, two black, yeah. totally black cat, cats uh, that are very similar, uh, also without uh, particular um, uh, features on their faces, are uh, practically undistinguishable. If you cannot distinguish, probably also the ball cannot do this. So how much is something like this going to retail for, and when do you think it's going to be available? It will be available in September this year, for sure, and uh, um, the price, uh, target price of retail is uh, $189. So we have this Italian design. You talked about bringing in Italian designers. Is it going to be manufactured in Italy? Is this? Uh, we hope in the USA. This is Brian Stillman at CES 2019 with Be Terrific, BeTerrific.com, Cat Bowls with AI, Artificial Intelligence, be terrific.